Speaking of Hendry, <laughs> this is a treat. Why is Hendry coming out here? Why shouldn't he? Oh god, there's two chairs on the stage. Well, we saw this at Chain Reaction. Is this the Joe Hendry show? Don't tell me we're going to have episode two of the Joe Hendry show. I've got someone recording this back home, so I can watch it all over again. This is my this is my favorite show on TV. Joe Hendry coming out here apparently to grace us all with another episode of the least popular chat show popular. in the history of pro wrestling. Come on, least popular chat show. Wait, it's no Piper's Pit, is it? Oh come on, he's the new Parkinson. The prestigious one appreciates your worship, but if you could at least just hush up because it's time for our second attempt at the Joe Hendry Show! Oh, whoopee do. Show some enthusiasm, it's a big night. And the last time we tried this, our general manager had to make it all about him. So I'm going to move on. And instead of having someone like him, I'm going to bring out one of the most respected professional wrestlers in the world today. The Wrestler's Wrestler. Let's introduce my guest, Rampage Brown! Wow! Here comes Rampage. That's a hell of a second guest. The, the sole survivor on Team Defy at Chain Reaction. And now one of the men who's going to contest the Magnificent Seven, along with Joe Hendry. Look at the dance moves on Hendry. Look at him, just, look at him I go. I like the song, it's a good song, it's a good song. Hey, whoa, whoa, it's a, you just, I got the set, I got a nice set, I got a real comfy chair for you, real comfy chair. I know what you think this is, it's not. This is, this is, the respect, the, re the respect I have for you, unbelievable. You're gonna see that now, please. I'm asking you next, I'm just, I'm asking, I'll go first. Please, please take a seat, please take a seat. I, I, I promise, honestly. No, don't say that, don't say that, don't say that, come on. Now, can I call you Paige? <laughs> all right, Rampage. The last thing I want to do is, is come out here and patronize you with all the same questions. That, you know what interviewers are like, they ask the same thing every single time. So me and my team, we did our research and we came up with some questions you'll have never been asked before. You ready? Yeah! Okay, first question. Now this is, I did my research on this one, but... How long have you been a wrestler? It's <laughs> a good question. What is this? Well, you don't really need to answer that because... The answer is a long time, Rampage. A long time. So how about I skip on to the next question? Now that one was okay, okay. Well, we'll put that one to the side, but who is your favorite wrestler? I know that's what it's up. It's Joe Hendry, isn't it? And you don't need to answer that one either because we all know that the person you look up to <laughs> is the prestigious one. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Normally in interviews, the guest gets to speak, you know. And Rampage, I'm gonna ask you one more question. Since you're sitting there, how does it feel to know that Joe Hendry was something that you'll never be? Oh. And that's the number one talent in this company. I was the longest reigning champion, and both of us are in that Magnificent Seven matchup. And so you've got no chance against the prestigious one. So I'm giving you the option now. Just bow out. But tell me, how does it feel? Oh, 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 oh no. Go on. Joe, you talk too much. Oh, come on. Page. You can't put your hands on a host. Remember what happened to Vader in the 90s? Rampage. Clearly, not a fan of Joe Hendry's interviewing style. Rampage is going to end up under house arrest. I'm calling it right now. He's not leaving the country. Rampage going to try and hit Hendry with a pile driver. Oh, pile driver no, time. No. On Hendry. Oh, oh yes. Guerrero. El Guerrero come to the aid of his prestige buddy. Is Joe Hendry safe? He's definitely not safe at, at lights out. 
Speaking of lights out, it could be lights out for El Ligero here. Here comes the pile driver from Rampage. Just unnecessary. Wait a minute, here comes, here comes the future Commonwealth champ. Rampage. Yes. Seen it a low blow <laughs> by Hendry on Rampage. And Hendry's going to scarf her here. Hendry jumping over the crowd barrier. Well, he's running away now. There'll be nowhere to run. A lights out. Have to have to his own move again. Well, Rendell just so did. Oh, the match is still going. The match is still going. Right into the back of the head of Thurman. Lights has got the leg. Thanks to the leg. Oh, God. Thanks, Travis Banks is the internet champion. Oh, oh, come on. I knew I needed to wrestle Walter because I know that you know I need to beat Walter. Look at the face of Mackenzie. Mackenzie clearly feels she's been disrespected by Sammy Ghetto. Oh. Mackenzie strikes the red. And Rachel, oh, that's what they have. Millie Mackenzie, a fine. No! Oh. Hayley Ray with a kick. Oh. Right. Mackenzie out. Mackenzie counters German suplex on Hayley Ray. It is filled up for him. Mark Haskins! Haskins! Oh. Mark Haskins! Attacking his former Team IPW teammate out of nowhere. Wait, Havertz coming back. Havertz coming back. What in the name of God is going on here? Havertz and Haskins. Just because I'm done with you as a tag partner doesn't mean I'm done with someone I can trust. Listen to this lineup: Rampage, Primate, Ligero, Hendry, Amin, Gabriel Kidd and the Fallen Angels. Christopher Daniel, one of those seven, will leave lights out in Leeds as the holder of the Magnificent Seven briefcase.